KC's Audio Vault. Rain Nada from Our Lady Peace. March 18th, 2008. Well, Rain, I'm glad to have you in here. It's nice to be here. I see you're, you got a little less of a beard on the on the album cover. You're uh, sporting a pretty uh, burly beard. It got pretty, uh, pretty hairy for a while, yeah. <laughs> what does the wife think of that? Uh, yeah, Chantal, she didn't love it. No? I'll leave it there. Leave it there? Yeah, yeah. leave it at that. <laughs> She's been joining you on stage. How how is this round of touring a little bit different than before? Um, you know, this is a, a very dynamic kind of thing. The record is very different from Our Lady Peace and um, musician-wise as well. It's piano, cello, and uh, a friend of mine playing drums and acoustics. So there's no real electric instruments, which is really what I wanted for the record. It's very organic. Even though it's kind of beat-driven, it's still all real drums and organic. So it's kind of um, a big... For me, it feels like a big departure when I'm on stage from my piece, which is nice. The vibe on on the road, you, you you've got uh, the whole family. You got the, the no, we don't right now. It's uh, we started in Victoria and we kind of left the kids at home for this uh, this run, and then they'll join us kind of once we hit like Montreal and Ottawa and go down in the states. They'll they'll be with us for a minute. And I guess you're in uh, the uh, hometown of the in laws. You get a chance to see them. I haven't yet. I'm sure I'll see them tonight. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Winnipeg factor is big here. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. You know, there's always rumors. You, you you live in L.A. and there, there's right in the baby bumps and crotch shots and all that. Is that out of out of your head? You not even look at that. Not or? even. I'm not in the Hollywood scene. I'm not even close to Hollywood. We live on the west side of L.A., kind of closer to the ocean, and uh, we have a studio in our house. And that's kind of you know, wake up and grab a coffee and go to the studio, and that's my day. And then around. Two in the morning, I go to bed. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You know, I mean, we our kids have complete access to us in the studio, no matter who we're working with. It's just kind of a, a musical commune. And, um, yeah, it's just an amazing vibe. And it's, it feels more like the East Coast to me. We live in this canyon. And I, like I said, I hardly, I go into Hollywood maybe to play some shows and maybe to see the odd band. But I just don't get in that scene. No, it's not me. Are you a, a creature habit? Do you usually wake up at the same time, grab the same cup of coffee, grab the I, paper? and. <laughs> I'd like to be, but I'm not because um, I just think music, you know, you can't force it. And so if things are happening, you know, late at night and, and in the early morning hours, and that's what happened really when I was making this record a lot. I recorded from like midnight until like four or five in the morning. Just kind of got to go with it. So, um, and then, you know, I'll get a couple hours sleep, wake up with my kids, hang with them for a minute, and then sometimes go back to bed for a little while. The kids running wild the whole time. They yeah, I mean, they, you know, they music. just they just love me. I think the the music factor in our house is it's very inviting for them. You know, they're just always banging on a piano or you know hitting drums or grabbing guitars. Some guitars, some guitars are still not allowed to touch. Yeah, but um, <laughs> yeah, it's very open that way. And I I think it's cool in the sense that I think they're gonna have music in them, no matter if they take it on as like their career or not. And you know, to be able to pick up a guitar or sit at a piano and and um, express yourself a lot cheaper than Prozac. Are you conscious of what kind of music you listen to at home because of the kids? You, even if you're in a metal mood or what have you? Yeah, you know? not really. You know, it's funny. There's this really, um, yeah, I mean, I'll listen to Deftones some days and one of my kids will love it and the other will run out of the room. But yeah, I think the key is to exposing them to, I mean, hopefully it's all good music. But um, to a lot of different styles of music, you know, I, th- I think that's that I feel like they're getting culture just from that already, which is pretty cool. Well, uh, you got your guitar. You feel like uh, doing something off Hunter's Lullaby? Yeah, I'll do uh, Sex, Love and Honey. Out of planes running around my head around my head I got a no, no, no Sex, love, honey, that I taste Honey makes me wait Honey says she's late Love heart hanging by a thread Hanging by a thread Oh, I gotta save it, save it Jack and Jill left the golden state There's nothing left to say Nothing left to say Oh, I don't feel like I fell before It's not happening now Mother is at my door It's not happening Now that you're leaving I love you like never before Oh, this is not This is not happening now It's gonna be happening now Love hope, heroes that can save 
they can say You gotta no, no, no Laugh hurt feelings misbehave Feeling like a wave You gotta brave it, brave it Up, down, give me all the blame I'll take all this blame Oh, I'm gonna take it, take it I'm begging but you won't let me explain One foot in the grave One foot in this grave Oh, I don't feel like I fell before It's not happening now My mother is at my door It's not happening now that you're leaving I love you like never before Oh, but this is not This is not happening now When you feel like you're alone inside and you beg, but she won't take you there And you can't find any wrong from right One solution is you don't let yourself ever care Ever care Like I felt before, it's not happening now. My mother is at my door, it's not happening now. This isn't happening now. This is when she runs to the ocean, she runs to the tide. We got China tied it up like the of the July, the doctor's on call, don't forget Mother's Day, this nurse is a wreck, and we all start to fade away, oh, la 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 la, can't be happening now, oh, la 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 la, can't be happening now. Rain Maida on the 6 o'clock rock report, we are Winnipeg's best rock, Power 97, thanks again for coming in. My pleasure. The new record, uh, Hunter's Lullaby, is that kind of a, now that it's made, is that a feeling like this This is it? This is the way that I should be making records? No, you know what? It's just a different thing um, for me. It's, I, I kind of started up in, in the art scene with, you know, literature and creative writing, you know, way back in like grade two. That's what I remember loving to do, you know, and I got into poetry. This cool teacher at my Catholic school in grade eight, you know, I'd hang out with him at recess and he'd kind of hit me to Ginsburg and Kerouac and all the beat poets even though we probably shouldn't have been. Um, but, yeah, I really dove into that and, and started with that. And, and even in, on the first Our Lady Peace record, I really struggled to try to fit a lot of poems and words that I had into songs that we were writing. And it was just like square peg, round hole. So I kind of gave up on that and tried to learn how to write lyrics because I see them as, as different entities. Both I respect both, but very different things. Or I'm just not that talented at trying to get poems to be lyrics. But, um <laughs> Either way, um, this is kind of getting back to poetry and letting the words be the forefront, you know. With Our Lady Peace, it's a, it's a different thing. It's a mu- this is a much more personal record, and uh, I wouldn't want to, you know, take those liberties in a band setting. The Our Lady Peace fans would be pissed if I didn't ask what was happening in that camp these days. Uh, you know what? It's, uh, as soon as uh, this tour ends, those guys come out to L.A., and uh, we continue recording. We've been getting together every three months for a couple weeks at a time and just recording, just the four of us, you know. No, um, we worked with Bob Rock the last two records, and the way I made this solo record, The Hunter's Lullaby, really kind of shone a light on how I want to make music, and I convinced the band, and uh, they're into this way as well. So it's just at my studio, I'm producing and engineering, it's just the four of us. It feels like, you know, before we had a record deal, and the music speaks like that to us. The music's really, it's just a raw rock and roll record that we're making right now, which I really dig. At this point in your career, have you crossed off the list of, of, of a lot of things you want to do? You're politically minded, social conscious, uh, use any words you like. Have, have you done everything that you, you think you want to do at right now? Um, you know what? I guess I'm not a list guy. I just kind of, you take it day by day and you see what life kind of throws at you. Um, whether it's a you know, trip to Iraq or Darfur or, or just being in the studio with the guys and, and feeling re-inspired uh, with OLP. It's, it's just, I... I I used to maybe plan things, and it's just they never work out. So um, as long as I'm making music every day, I'm pretty happy. Anything, uh, story in the paper that's recently really gets you fired up? 
Not really, you know. I made this I made this kind of mini documentary for the song Yellow Brick Road off this record and along with the you know, making that documentary we raised money. I was just I bust the streets of Toronto for twelve hours and raised we raised twenty three thousand dollars that day and then in the next couple of weeks we're able to get the thirty thousand dollars we needed to build the school in Congo. So probably in the next after the OLP thing in LA, uh, I'll probably go to the Congo for a couple of weeks and finish building that school and just just to show people that, you know, it's great to give money to charities and stuff, but you very seldom do you see like the tangible results. And so I'm gonna go film it and and show people, man, like if you put in a nickel, five dollars or fifty dollars that day, you're part of this school. Then I'm you know, I just want to show people that they actually this is what happened. You guys built this school and it's a pretty cool thing. I was really proud of Toronto and Canada in general just for uh, helping me raise that money that quickly. Do you have any experience as a, a, a younger artist doing busking? Uh, is that you part know of your what? Past? Not really, man. And you know, it's funny. I learned more in those twelve hours than I've learned probably in twelve years. It's a whole different thing getting out on the streets and like playing for money and trying to you know because some people knew me obviously, but a lot of people didn't. And I went where the money was, so I was hanging around like Bay Street, the financial district in Toronto, and trying to get all the fat cat suits to donate. And it's a different thing when you're trying to get people's attention. So I. I t- played a lot of these songs very differently, you know, very loud, very kind of screaming at the top of my lungs to get people's attention, which was which was a really interesting experience. Or are you up for playing one more tune? Yeah, sure. Yeah. It's called The uh, Snake and the Crown. <clears throat> Today I got to thinking the world's in a strange way See I'm in a 7-Eleven and this robbery takes place Do I hide behind the counter, my hands covering my face? Or do I dive for the gunman before he makes his break? Does that 45 go off, do the bullets ricochet? Is it not some random nightmare? See for me, well this is every day I've been waiting for this train to come round And I've been waiting for the deal to go down And I've been looking for these things not found But they're so far, they're so far away I'm just doing my best today My cigarettes and alcohol and a few minutes to pray Well, it don't do what it used to, so we'll have hell to pay A penny for your thoughts, a penny for my cliches Well, I try to get some distance, I try to escape This nightmare so persistent in a Shakespeare kind of way Be not afraid, ah, be very afraid I've been waiting for this train to come round And I've been waiting for the deal to go down I've been looking for these things not found They're so far, they're so far away I said, who sold you out? Oh, we did, we did, and who let you down? Oh, we did, we did, and who put on this crown? Oh, you and me, oh yeah, we did And who sold you out? We did, we did, who let you down? We did, we did Open on this crown, oh, you and me, you and me, dear. La 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 Rain Maida on the six o'clock rock report. We are Winnipeg's best rock, Power 97. Thank you so much for coming in. My pleasure. Playing tonight at the uh, Garrick. Give us a call right now, 780 Rock, for a couple tickets. Uh, have a great show tonight. Thank you very much. All, right. All the interviews you want on iTunes and at Power97.com. Casey's Audio Vault. Casey Norman is Power 97's music director and can be heard every weekday from 2 till 6 in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Power 97 is Winnipeg's best rock.